Cozy Mysteries, also known as cozies, refers to a subgenre of crime mystery that embodies many of the key components of classic mystery novels, such as suspense, misdirection, and intrigue, while at the same time leaving behind the explicit violence, foul language, and sexuality that often accompanies other types of mysteries. There's plenty of action in cozy mysteries, but anything violent or disturbing takes place off the page. The protagonist in cozies is often a woman, sometimes elderly, but almost always an amateur sleuth. And the setting is often a small, tight-knit community with bakeries, coffee shops, and bookstores appearing frequently in these stories, such as the Hannah Swenson series by Joanna Fluke. Animals are common in cozy mysteries, like the popular Lillian Jackson series, The Cat Who, and sometimes these pets even help solve the crimes. These books often revolve around baking, crafts, or other hobbies, and some stories, like the book Town Mysteries by Lorna Bar Barrett, even feature knitting patterns or recipes. Because cozies are usually part of a long series, these stories are great for voracious readers who want to help solve a puzzling mystery without reading any gory or upsetting details. On the other hand of the mystery spectrum is noir fiction. These books also have the classic mystery qualities of suspense and intrigue, but the similarities between cozies and noir ends there. The protagonist of noir fiction is often a morally dubious man who is often considered an outsider, and the story generally takes place in a gritty urban area. Noir fiction often treats violence and sex in a very frank manner and certainly does not shy away from discussing the unsavory details of the crimes. The story might be bleak, as the protagonist often embraces a fatalistic point of view, and there is a focus on realistic characters and plot. The dialogue in noir is often short and snappy, relies heavily on similes to create an atmospheric setting, and is essential for moving the plot along. Noir fiction, such as the work of Raymond Chandler, Dashiell Hammett, and Walter Mosley, would be a good fit for readers who like their mysteries fast-paced and unflinching. True crime is a subgenre of mysteries that focuses on real crimes that have taken place. Because they're based on real events, true crime books are less likely to follow a formula than fictionalized mysteries. However, they do generally report on a crime from the beginning of its investigation to the conclusion of its legal proceedings. True crime has gained a lot of popularity in the last decade, and there have been a slew of books, TV shows, documentaries, and podcasts that focus on real stories of crime. But these are not for everyone. Some people criticize true crime for being insensitive, while others are turned off of the genre due to the fact that these books are based on real events and are often fairly gory. These stories often center on sensational, shocking, or strange events with a particular emphasis on murder. True crime can be based on stories that are ripped from the headlines, such as Jerry Bledsoe's Bitter Blood, or they can focus on more historical crimes, such as Devil in the White City and Furious Hours. While not for everyone, true crime books would be great for those who've already listened to all of the episodes of their favorite true crime podcast.